So Vanessa had asked about meta tags. And what I'm showing you right here is the code view of the home page for my real estate site, okay? So this is my real estate site, could be anybody's site. If you have meta tags, they'll be in, in a similar place to where they are on my site, up in the head of the document, same place where you put the site title, okay? And you'll have these things called meta tags, or just all of it together would be referred to as metadata. Okay, these keywords, this list of extra information, as you see it the way I've typed it out here, Grand Bend Real Estate, Mike Sloan, all this extra stuff, yada, 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 does not appear anywhere in the surface of my page in that order, in that way. These are specific keywords that in addition to what I have in my title, in addition to what I have in content right here on the main surface of my page, search engines will also use those to, to properly rank my site in terms of how the words are coming up on it. Okay, and they're pretty much this simple. You go in and don't create some random list of words. Here, let me get back up to my head. You go in and for meta name keywords, you're gonna create, and they could be phrases, and everything separated by a comma then until the next comma would be considered a keyword or a keyword phrase. And they don't have to exactly match every keyword phrase that you put into your AdWords campaigns. And you guys have set up AdWords campaigns in Liz's class if you did take her class in the fall. And you don't have to, and in fact, if you just take every single one and dump them into your meta tags, Google might flag you for, um, it's, I forget the different words they use for it, but for, for not necessarily repeating content, but for just overdoing your content or trying to pull people in, just generating false content. You're, you're generating a, a, a view or a, you know, an idea of what's on your site without really giving them the true content. By putting all the keywords in there instead of having them in the content themselves, you're just slamming just a ton of information into the meta tag to try and get people to come there that way. So I kept mine. This is about as big as I would make it. If you make it much bigger, you might have issues with Google's properly ranking you. So I kept mine down to like the main categories I'd have in my AdWords campaigns. And I just list all these keywords in there. And then the description is a little more brief. You don't start jamming all the keywords in there, but it's, it's something similar to what I put in my page title, where I give people an idea of what this website is, is purporting to do, okay? And if you want the code to put these in and where it goes, you simply go in after your head has started and before your, the head of your document is closed. So inside of this tag, the head tag that we learned about in the web workshop, you could have, now you're starting to learn, you could have a lot of stuff. Not just your site title, okay, but as you know, any extra CSS that might, you might have relative to that page, okay? Um, you might have uh, the link to your CSS sheet. You might have a special meta tag that Dreamweaver stuck in there. You might have your site title, of course, like we mentioned, and you might have meta tags. And you also might have a favicon link, but that's gonna be another short video I'm gonna do is how to get, um, how to get that little icon next to your name in the browsers, which is kind of a neat trick to do. But right now we're just focusing on this. So how did I get these in there? I just typed them right in. And how did I come up with them? I just came up with a collection of keywords that I felt represented what was on my website. And this will help search engines um, rank you and place you a little bit better. And it will help your site to be that much more legitimate and relevant. If you put the, the keywords in your meta, meta tag for keywords and description that, that match what's actually on your site. So the way to do that in Dreamy without having to know the code, which is right here, if you wanted to know the code, then meta name equals, and then the type of tag you're using in quotes, and then content equals, and then all of your keywords are in quotes. And then for the description, it's the same thing. If you, want, you just want to stay in design view and put them in, it's done in the insert menu, HTML, uh, head tags, and then meta, Meta, you could just make up your own head tag, but keywords or description are how I put those both in there, okay? And if you go to keywords, for example, you're going to start typing them in, right? And so it, there is a WYSIWYG way to do it in Dreamweaver. Yes? Sorry, so uh, That's what you want to avoid because Google will start to, to take away from your ranking if you keep repeating keywords in a meta description or meta keywords. Now, you'll see in mine 
that, that was a very good question. Can you put the same words over and over again? Now in your content, I repeat Grand Bend Real Estate a bunch of times in my content over and over, but in, in totally separate sentences and paragraphs. So it wouldn't be flagged as repeating content. And I do repeat real estate in here a few times in Grand Bend, but, in a, but associated with totally separate other key words. So I should still be safe there. And as far as I can tell in my AdWords, like ranking, I'm doing quite well. So I don't think I'm getting in trouble for that. But if I just said Grand Bend Real Estate Lot, Grand Bend Real Estate Cottage, Grand Bend Real Estate House, and, and I kept using Grand Bend Real Estate, just changing one word, it, it might not be as clean and they might start to flag me for, um, it's just identical content. It's just repeating content. Right, but I mean, like, including the keyword Grand Bend Real Estate. Yeah. Oh, that's okay to have it in both. That's okay. What I'm saying is avoid repeating words over and over again. Do you guys understand what I mean? Okay, so that's, that's meta tags, another extra little marketing tool that you should definitely be throwing into your site near the end right before you launch it because these things matter. Now I'm going to stop recording. Um, so that video, what the heck? What happened to my cursor? Weird. Okay, so.